holy heck, it's only eight days till Christmas. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea and today I'm gonna do a little Christmas tag video. I found it through Brianna McLean. Her channel is amazing. Her video and her channel will be linked below as well as the creators of this tag. I just loved all the questions with it. So this video is in collaboration with my friend Megan. She is my real life friend as well as friends here on YouTube. She has a mommy lifestyle channel uh, called Megan Lindsay and I will link that below as well as her Christmas tag video. Definitely go check her out. She's engaged so she's planning her wedding right now and she has the most adorable little girl charlotte who is 10 months old and i just know you'll love her stuff so don't forget to go check out her stuff which is all linked below right after you watch this one decided just to kind of like tag each other in this because i really wanted to talk about christmas i'm excited to film this video because in the past few years i've been like super on top of christmas and have gotten everything done even before December, I was able to really sit back and enjoy. This year is a completely different story. I have so much to do still. I can't believe we only have eight days left. It's kind of stressing me out and it's weighing down my Christmas spirit. So I decided I wanted to do this to talk about the fun stuff and kind of get back into the Christmas spirit. All right, so let's just get into it. So question number one, what is your favorite Christmas scent? I'm really into um, like sweets and baked goods and food scents. So I guess my favorite Christmas scent would be like cinnamon and like sugar cookie um, and frosting and that kind of stuff. Question number two is what is your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song is Baby It's Cold Outside. I just, I like singing to it. Yes, that would be my favorite one, but there's so many good Christmas songs out there. I freaking love them. Question number three is, do you host any Christmas parties? I would love to host Christmas parties, like a cookie day or the Christmas Eve party or Christmas morning or even Christmas night. But unfortunately my house is too small right now so I don't do any of the hosting. But my family, we all kind of host together so no matter where we go, we're all contributing to the hosting. We all, it's more of like a potluck. Question four is, what type of tree do you put up, artificial or real? I have always had real Christmas trees. I love the process of going and picking them out. I love the way they make your house smell and how they're not always the perfect shape. There's always gonna be a backside and a front side to them. I do love that, but this year, I actually like, when thinking about artificial trees, I, I could see myself getting one in the future only because of how long you can keep them up and how much faster you can decorate for Christmas because with real trees, you can't just like have them forever. They're gonna die eventually. So having an artificial one would be cool. So that way you have it up even longer. Nothing wrong with Christmas decorations being up longer. Question number five is what is your favorite Christmas food? That's hard. Um, I don't say we have like any really traditional Christmas foods, but I guess my favorite Christmas food would be like cookies. And question number six is when do you open presents? Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? So as a kid, we always got to open one Christmas present every Christmas Eve and we always act surprised, but we always knew it was going to be pajamas. Nowadays, my kids open up pretty much all their gifts on Christmas Day. We do get together with my immediate side of the family. So like my parents and my sisters and their families on Christmas Eve and do the cousin um, secret Santa then. So that um, I guess is like the only gift they really open up on Christmas Eve. Everything else is Christmas day. Question seven is do you have a theme when decorating? I don't think I really have a theme. I do tend to stick to the colors red, white, and silver more often. And I, especially this year, a lot of my decor is just that. But I'm, and I really like like clean, sophisticated um, decorations. And I love a good theme. And when everything matches, I think it looks great. But just where I'm at right now and what decorations we have, I personally don't really have a theme. I just really like to use the things that boys have made and random decorations I've picked up over the years. So I don't think it all necessarily matches, but I do tend to stick with the like red, white, silver theme. But 
I'm not opposed to later on in life having a very specific color scheme and theme for Christmas. Question eight is what is one of your Christmas traditions? One of my Christmas traditions is that my family, so I have three sisters, so my parents, my three sisters, and their families and my family, we all get together on Christmas Eve. We wear pajamas, we all make our own pizzas, and we do our um, Secret Santa gifts. So all of my sisters and I, we choose names and we do Secret Santa, then the brother-in-laws do Secret Santa with just each other, and then all the cousins do um, Secret Santa with each other. So we all get together on Christmas Eve and we do all that gift exchange. We all still see each other on Christmas Day, but because of the other family sides, as well as just extended family and even more parties, Christmas Day is just a chaotic, very fast-paced day. So I really like the tradition of my immediate family getting together on Christmas Eve. It kind of slows down the celebration, extends it, and we get to spend some good quality time together. Question number nine, when do you normally start shopping for Christmas? So like I said in the past, I'm normally pretty good at starting like Black Friday and getting a lot of it done. So that way I don't have much to do come December 1st. This year's a different story though. I just, I don't know, it got away from me. Maybe it's because Thanksgiving was so much later in the month. So then as soon as Thanksgiving was over, it was December. So I was just kind of like, slow out of the gate i don't know but this year got away from me i still have some shopping to do i mean a lot most some of it's done but normally i'm a black friday right after thanksgiving shopper i don't know what happened this year question number 10 is what is your favorite christmas movie mine would have to be a toss-up between elf because elf is just I will laugh at every joke every single time I watch that movie. It's hilarious. And then I really like the Santa Claus movies um, with Tim Allen. I like the second and the third one better than the first one. Probably the second one the most just because I like when they show more of the North Pole and like that side of his life. So I don't know, maybe even the third one then. I don't know, but now I need to go watch those. Oh, and of course any Hallmark Christmas movie. It can be really any of them. I love a good Christmas, Hallmark Christmas movie, and let's be honest, they're all pretty much the same storyline, so any one of them will do. Okay, so for this next one, parents cover your kids' ears, um, or just like turn this thing around. The question asks about Santa, and <laughs> in my house, we believe. I strongly agree with the saying, you have to believe to receive. If that lets you know what the question was. I don't even want to answer it. I can't even talk like that. Okay, moving on. Question 12, what do you top your tree with? We have a silver star on top of our tree and that one we've had since me and my husband moved in together um, four years ago. And when I was growing up, we had a Santa Claus that would go on top of the tree, a really pretty, no, not a Santa Claus, it was an angel. It was this really pretty angel and I could still picture it. Um, so growing up I had an angel on top of my tree and now we do a little silver star. Question 13 is what is your main dish for Christmas? And we don't really do like a traditional like Christmas dinner where it kind of like mocks Thanksgiving dinner. I think that that's pretty common, but we do more of a potluck for my extended family, big Christmas day, night party, we do potluck. So everyone always brings something different. We have pasta salads, we have sandwiches, we have, sometimes have turkey. We don't really have like something we have every single time, but I like it because we just had Thanksgiving, so I like that we kind of mix up the food a little bit. Question number 14, do you prefer multicolored lights or, um, white Christmas lights. I prefer white Christmas lights. I really like that clean, crisp, uh, like, it's a white Christmas look. But saying that, my house right now is covered in colored lights and I can't say I hate it. It's very festive. My kids love it. It looks more like a gingerbread house. Question number 15 is when you decorate, do you decorate your entire house or just certain areas? 
Right now, I just do pretty much our living room and the kitchen, and then there's very little few things in the bathroom and the boys' room. Our My room has, like, nothing, and the boys' room has, like, a couple little banners and some Santa pictures and stuff like that. When we have a bigger house, I could definitely see me wanting to decorate and go throughout the whole house, but it's just so small right now um, that I really just focus on our living room in the kitchen sometimes and that's it 15 questions i do feel more in the christmas spirit now i'm so glad i did this video i really like watching these kind of videos um and learning about other people's traditions and what they do on christmas because i think everyone does it a little bit differently so it's cool to learn about what other people do so please comment below and leave one of your Christmas traditions in the bottom. I have a very young family. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old boy, so I'm still trying to come up with some cool new fun traditions that are specific to my family. So definitely leave those in the bottom. Don't forget to go check out my good friend Megan's video. I can't wait to watch it. Um, that will be linked in the bottom. All of the creators of this Christmas tag will be linked in the bottom. Thank you to them for creating it. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video.